As the First Minister Nicola Sturgeon prepares to restart the independence debate this week, the Scottish Conservative leader Ruth Davidson is calling on supporters of the UK to reboot the union. Our political correspondent Glenn Campbell is at Holyrood with more. What have they been saying, Glenn? Well, Ruth Davidson reckons the UK uh, needs a new operating system to counter the movement for Scottish independence and the possibility of a second referendum. Those on the yes side are awaiting the publication of the SNP's Growth Commission report a bit later this week. They hope that will give them new arguments for independence. What it will not do, though, is give us a date for any second referendum. The Growth Commission won't touch on the timing of an independence referendum, that's for later, but what it will do is focus on the opportunities of independence. And after a couple of years where the debate, not just in Scotland but across the UK, has been very much about how we limit the damage of Brexit, I think this is a refreshing opportunity to have a debate based on hope and ambition and about how we maximise Scotland's opportunities in the future. The First Minister also said the Commission would not sugarcoat the challenges that would come with independence. But whatever this report says, it's not going to convince the Scottish Conservatives that independence is a good idea. Uh, they certainly will continue to argue the opposite case. And Ruth Davidson will do that, whether or not it re-energises the independence debate, which has been very long-running. We find ourselves... 11 years on, back almost where we started, with a minority nationalist government wanting us all to take one more go on the merry-go-round, I suspect to end up exactly where we began, with a majority unpersuaded, unconvinced and unimpressed. In the face of this, complacency among unionists might be tempting. Tempting, but it would be wrong. She says the UK should divest London of some of its power and that the benefits of the union should be spread more evenly around the country. She floated ideas like the British Museum having a second home, the fishing industry being administered from Peterhead. She even suggested the home nations should bid jointly to host the World Cup, although she was careful to say she's not prepared to back a UK football team. Then thank you very much.